Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Walsh from the Prime Clinic at Yale University School of Medicine. PRIME stands for Prevention Through Risk, Identification, Management, and Education. It's a great clinic dedicated to the early identification and intervention in serious mental illness in young people. And why is it important to identify people early? It's important because psychological and emotional difficulties, just like other medical illnesses, usually present first with early warning signs and symptoms before serious illness develops. The sooner we identify these early warning symptoms and treatment is started, the less likely it is that they'll disrupt a person's ability to study, to work, make friends, and be around other people. Early identification really does lead to a better prognosis. One of the ways that we have to identify these young people who are at risk of developing psychosis is to utilize the Structured Interview for Psychosis Risk Syndromes. It was authored at Yale University, and it's designed to work with people 12 to 45 years old. It is to help rule out past and current psychotic episodes, to rule in one or more of the prodromal syndromes, and to measure the severity of a person's symptoms. There are three prodromal or at-risk syndromes, the brief intermittent psychotic syndrome, BIPS, the attenuated positive symptom syndrome, APS, and the genetic risk and deterioration syndrome, GRD. The assessment has 19 symptoms that are evaluated on a scale of zero absent to six severe and psychotic. And those symptoms are divided into four domains, the positive, the negative, the disorganized, and the general symptoms. All of these domains contribute to the person's total clinical picture and inform their treatment plan, but we're only going to make a diagnosis based on the positive symptoms. The measure also contains anchors that helps the interviewer to determine the correct severity rating, and it also has qualifiers which help the interview, interviewer to determine the onset the frequency, the level of distress, and the level of interference with the person's life, which are all important things to help the person um, make an accurate diagnosis. Okay, so Breton, I'd like to change a little bit now and ask you um, if you've ever felt that people around you are thinking about you in a negative way. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um. Usually it just happens at work, I guess, or, um, you know, sometimes I feel like uncomfortable around people and don't really know why. Well, let me ask you something, Brenton. Does it ever happen to you other than when you're concerned about your performance? Would it happen to you? What if you were at the mall? and you saw somebody looking at you, would you think they were thinking negatively of you or if you were at the movie theater or something? Mm. Yeah, sometimes that does happen. And do you ever find out, Brenton, was it true? Were they really thinking negatively of you or was it just you thinking it? Nobody ever says anything. Okay. Um, Have you ever gotten any bad work reviews? No. And sometimes I think they're probably just saving them up for one, you know, big one or something like that, though. And why do you think they might be doing that? I don't know. They could, you know, just not like me. You know, there's... That's definitely something that I think is happening. That they don't like you? Yeah, not... Mm, not just that they don't like me, but that they're specifically like trying to make it so I have to leave.